First, I'm going to go over the Explorer setup. In replicated storage, you should have two folders, one named Objectives and the other named Remote Events. In Server Script Service, insert a folder and name it Scripts. In Starter GUI, insert a folder and rename it Scripts. Then, insert two screen GUI objects and name one Dialog GUI and the other Objective GUI. Next, go back to the Remote Events folder in Replicated Storage. In the Remote Events folder, insert two other folders and rename one Game Events and the other Toggle Events. Also, insert the correct Remote Event objects into the folders just as I have done in the video. Now it's time to insert an NPC into the workspace. In this video, I'm going to be using this plugin, however, I'll leave a few of my favorites in the description. Once you've created your NPC, insert the NPC into a folder within your workspace named NPC. Then, within the NPC folder, there should be another folder named Models. Insert your NPC into the Models folder. A link to the animate script will be in the description. Once you have the script, insert the script into the NPC. Select all of the body parts of the NPC, just as I do in the video, and make sure they are all unanchored. Go to the Dialog GUI and start a GUI. Insert a local script and name it Toggle Script. Also, insert a frame. Now I'll be going over how to make the dialog GUI. Next, make the size 0 0.350.120. Then, make the position 0 0.050.850. Go to the frame's properties and make the anchor point 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Finally, make the size constraint relative xx. Go to the dialog label. In Properties, make the position point 0, 0.50, 0, 0, 0.30. Next, in the Size property, make it 0, 0.90, 0, 0, 0.60. 0. Next, go to the Name label. In Properties, change the position to minus 0, 0.0030, 0, minus 0, 0.0080. 0. Then, change the size to 0, 0.7, 0, 0, 0.20. 0. Once you've finished customizing your dialog GUI, make the frame invisible.
Copy what I've written for the dialog GUI's toggle script. Go to the script folder. Inside the folder, insert a local script and name it dialog script. Pause the video and copy the script. In starter GUI, insert a screen GUI and name it objective GUI. Insert a local script into the screen GUI and the frame. Name the local script, toggle script. Make the frame pointer point 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Make the position property 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.5, 0. Make the size 0 0.3, 0, 0 0.3, 0. Make the size constraint relative by 1. Objective GUI and name it Objective Label. Make the position property 0.1, 0, 0.25, 0. Make the size property 0.8, 0, 0 0.7, 0. Make the size property 0.8, 0, 0.7, 0. Inside another text label and name it Title. Make the text property Objective. Make the position 0, 0, 0 0.05, 0. Make the size property 1, 0, 0 0.15, 0. Next, in Starter GUI, go to the Scripts folder. Inside the folder, insert a local script, name it Objective Script, and pause the video to copy the code. Now, go to Replicated Storage. There should be a folder named Objective. Inside of that folder, create another folder. Name the folder whatever you want your objective to be. I need one teddy objective, because the objective is to find a teddy bear. Insert a number value. Make sure that it's zero. Name it whatever the player has to find and then found. I named it teddy found. I'm going to drag this model into the workspace, so I can show you what to do better. Within the Teddy model, I have an part slash mesh named Teddy and a server script named Collect Script. You can have as many as you want within the model. I'm cloning the Teddy part slash mesh as an example. Insert the server script into the model and name it Collect Script. You're going to have to rename a few things in this script to the item that you're having the player look for. Your Teddy Found variable should be the number value that's within the Teddy Objective folder. Base part is basically when the object is a mesh or singular part. I suggest you use a mesh or singular part. Otherwise, if you're using a model, then change this to model. 
Since my objective is to only find one teddy, I'm going to delete my other teddy bears. Be sure to drag your model back into the correct objective folder. Now I'm just going to show you how you can find a mesh for your objective. Skip to 1137 if you don't need help with this. Insert a script service, if you haven't already, create a scripts folder and insert a server script. Name the server script main script. First, define all of your variables. Replace IUV with whatever your NPC is named. This part of the script makes it so a random player will be selected to speak. Now create a function named part1, this will be the first objective that the player or players must complete. This text here is what the NPC will say. Within the quotation marks, that will be what the NPC says. Change that text to whatever you want the NPC to say. The wait, seconds, should be how long you want the text to be on the screen for. This is what a random player in a game will respond to the NPC's dialogue. Change the text within the quotation marks to what you want the player to say. After you've finished with the dialogue, write this within your script. You're going to have to rename a few things in the script to the item that you're having the player look for. Or depending on your objective. This part of the script tells the player how many teddies have been found. Here you write the value of how many of the objects you want the player to find.
This is how many seconds before the end dialogue pops up. This makes the dialogue GUI frame visible and the objective GUI frame invisible. This is what the NPC says after you've completed the objective. Here in the script I make both the dialogue and the objective GUI frames invisible. I will make everything I've done in this video a model in the description so that you can use it to create your own objective system. Or if you're having any issues with anything in this video, feel free to download the model so you can try to work things out. I will also be making a part 2 to this video that shows you how to create multiple objectives as well as further customize your objective system.